Mm -hmm. We could be uh, looking for a place to either get out or come up with some sort of a plan. We see him come to the intersection there and once again making a turn in this residential area, which we've seen all too many times, makes you nervous because people can be sure. out on a Sunday. Kids are playing, people walking, bicycling. Uh, we haven't seen that per se, uh, but you do have to worry about that. One thing you said, he hasn't been traveling at a high rate of speed, correct? That's correct, uh, Kathy. He's continued at this rate of speed, but you can see how he turns those corners. He has run stop signs. He has gone around other vehicles. He's gone on the wrong side of the street, but not uh, in a fashion like you would normally see in like a high-speed chase. He's just doing so, uh, being cautious, but uh, also not, uh, you know, avoid not uh, uh, stopping at those uh, intersections, but continuing on. So you can see there he is running a stop sign. There's a person on the curb there backing off. Now, uh, they might be moving some units in here behind and we'll see if that driving pattern changes northbound louise from wardlow is the location right turn there right in front of those people so again he seems like he's stepping it up a little bit with his uh, erratic driving there and uh, continuing on yeah yeah can you give us a location it looks as if he's on a major street sort of out of those uh, tight residential spots uh he's now uh san fernando mission from louise now he's uh, eastbound right now yeah, we saw him come really close to that one car, and then, like you said, he, he made that turn, and then he turned right in front of another car. We're starting to see a little bit of erratic driving. Is there anyone yep. behind him right now, any officers? Let me pull out and show you what's uh, what really is in the area. Not much, but the guy knows that, uh, actually, it looks like there's a couple units there that are getting on the street that he's on now and back to the vehicle. Uh, they, they are there. He, he is aware that they are behind him. He's uh, continuing to look around. He uh, is aware that the airship's overhead, and he is also on the phone. He was on the phone at least a minute ago. Now he's off, and he's doing some erratic uh, behavior there in the vehicle as well. He's digging around. It looks like the floorboard, uh, but continuing on and then there he goes swerving making a quick right turn there he just dropped out dropped something, something out of yeah. that uh, vehicle yeah yeah so uh, again driving has become a little more erratic his behavior inside the car has become a, a little more uh, questionable and of course erratic as well Dump, dumping something out of the uh, the window there not too long ago but again dr ground units look as if they're approaching a, a, a little quicker a little sooner here Gil you know what? It's it's. Uh, it looks like they're trying to get in a little tighter on the vehicle. He uh, just as we were you were talking there, Michael. It looked like he reached into the back seat and grabbed something out of the back, off the floor there. So uh, very erratic and very uh, uncertain what this guy's going to do. But uh, here he comes to an intersection. We'll see. This is San Fernando Mission. He's coming wrong side of the road. So there you go. He is definitely and he's turning with that car. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Wow. Unbelievable there, that driver not knowing what's going on there with that other guy. Uh, and continuing on now on San Fernando Mission eastbound, eastbound from Balboa. So some erratic driving happening here. Yeah, and some erratic actions inside that car, like you said, and at one point tossing something out, who knows what, on the cell phone as well. We've really seen this start to pick up, so it's becoming more of a dangerous situation. Officers are behind him. Is this um, a type of situation where they might want to think about a pit maneuver at some point? Oh, most definitely, most definitely, especially when he uh, bumps it up here with this er erratic driving. Uh, they will definitely consider that. Now, the the uh, one thing that they'll consider is uh, the amount of foot traffic and uh, ve vehicular traffic out here as to when to do that. Uh, usually, you know, at, on a street that's kind of quiet, maybe uh, at slow rates of speed, they don't want to do it at any, any speeds over like 35 miles an hour. Uh, then it becomes a, a danger for uh, the officers. But... Uh, you know, they're, they're, I can hear them right now actually talking about doing a pit maneuver going under the freeway there. Uh, and we'll see here. He's not coming out. He, yeah, they're a little too far away right now. Uh, as we stay with your picture, we'll get back to this chase. We'll catch up with them in just a moment. Uh, once again, we've been following this. It started about uh, half an hour ago. This is a stolen vehicle, a low jack vehicle, a blue Toyota. From what we understand, only one person inside. And uh, all of this happening at the Van Nuys Airport, at least near the Van Nuys Airport. Police have been on his tail since then, either uh, in patrol cars behind him sure. or following in the airship. Yeah, went from tracking mode not too long ago with the airship overhead. Now to it, it appears as if... Uh, ground units are squeezing in on him a, a little more we've seen some erratic driving at one point as kathy just mentioned not too long ago uh the driver they're throwing something out of the window this has pretty much maintained itself uh, on san fernando mission road here uh, again you're, mike you're right looking turn. at 
You're looking at that uh, that blue Toyota Corolla, we believe, a stolen vehicle out of near the uh, Van Nuys Airport. Again, LAPD in pursuit of this driver here. That's we've right, Michael. He's... Uh... Oh, I'm sorry about that. I was Go just going to say, we've seen him, you know, in ongoing traffic. He's been on the wrong side of the road, and he, he takes those turns. Uh, really, it, it's been very close calls for, uh, you know, at least two cars were almost right hit. Right turn northbound. Yeah, right, so that's correct. Ahead. You can see there, he just blew right through that intersection, right turn, and uh, continuing northbound. But uh, And there he goes, weaving into another neighborhood. So that's kind of his uh, MO here. He gets into the neighborhoods and kind of uh, just kind of tries to hide out in there. So, Gil, I can only imagine uh, not too long ago when that driver threw something, threw something out of the window there that uh, the airship alerted the ground units. They, what, stopped and picked that up as evidence? What are they doing in, in cases like this? Yeah, definitely they'll stop to pick that up. Some, uh, some of the other units that are trailing in the pursuit, they'll stop and pick up that uh, evidence to see exactly what it was. It looked like possibly some trash. You know, a lot of times uh, if this person has drugs on board, they'll try to do that on a turn, and that's what, that's what he did. He, he kind of threw it out after a turn, and uh, if the airship had uh, eyes on that and saw that, then they'll definitely get a, a unit in there to pick up that uh, object, whatever it was. And are we staying pretty much in the same area right now? Um, can you give us cities or locations at all? I know there are a lot of trees in the area. Yeah, pretty much still in the Granada Hills area. Uh, south of the 118 freeway, I can tell you that, in this neighborhood. Uh, we're having some problems getting right over the pursuit because of the air traffic that's coming into Van Nuys Airport. So we apologize for that. But uh, if he comes back this way, we'll be able to get a little bit uh, a better shot of this guy. But I'm hearing now that uh, two things. The uh, LAPD ground units are going to start to engage this driver. And the lead vehicle in that uh, pursuit, that lead LAPD unit, w is pit qualified. So there you go. There he is right there as we as I'm talking about it. They're in there now. And let's see what happens happens with his driving habits and Gil, conditions must be right spot us. must be spot on for a pit maneuver correct it has to be spot on you can see here uh not a whole lot of traffic and you can see that officer getting into position for that pit he might do it right here here it goes there it is there's the pit perfect job perfect yes. spinning him out the driver with his hand out the window that's going to disable that vehicle you can see how it's just kind of going into like a neutral uh he's going to see if let's see he's going to try to start it you can see that having a hard time starting that's the idea nope he got it started so usually that knocks the vehicle out of commission but he's back in business here again going uh towards uh, that san fernando mission here we go here's the vehicle again coming in the lapd vehicle westbound san fernando mission from balboa that was balboa that he, they did that pit maneuver on and let's see if they try it again but you can see the suspect has sped up here the speeds are uh, increasing as that uh, pit maneuver unfortunately failed, uh, and he's continuing on. It was textbook, though, absolutely sure. perfect. Uh, no one injured. It was done very well. It just didn't disable this driver as they continue. They'll probably try it again is what we're thinking. Here they are on in neighborhood streets. They uh, look like they want this to come to an end. Uh, yeah, most definitely. They will definitely uh, try to pit this guy once more. Again, though, he dives into a neighborhood, and uh, that seems to be his uh, his protection for him. Uh, but as soon as he gets on those major streets, they uh, they want to do that pit maneuver. They may not do one here in this neighborhood because they don't want uh, the vehicle to uh, you know run over somebody or you know possibly crash into a house if he was to lose control. So they'll wait for that major in major street that he'll get onto and uh, try the pit there. We're running that stoplight, continuing on. Yeah, you know, you talk about uh, the vehicle, uh, the police vehicle being pit certified, as you mentioned. Of course, we talk about conditions that must be spot on in order for it to be successful. Engaging in a uh, residential neighborhood like that, Gil, is not part of what protocol stands for, right? Not necessarily. I mean, it de I guess it depends on the situation. Uh, if this was an armed and dangerous individual, that might be the case. Depend but again, it depends on the conditions out there in the neighborhood and so on. But here again, here you can see him on a major street here, and he's going to continue on. But we'll see if they get that pit maneuver back into action here, approaching this intersection. I'll try to get you a street here. Southbound Louise from Chatsworth. I think they said Chatsworth there. Uh, and it's on the turn on. when they want to do that. They they can you know come into contact with them like right now, and uh, yeah, they're not trying it. You know, a turn. You're right, Kathy. A turn is 
Uh, once again, sorry we lost uh, Gil Avis there. As he said, he's trying to maneuver there. We're back with we're him. Just, we're near uh, the airport, so it can be difficult at times. We might lose the signal, but we're back on the car, that blue that Toyota Lojack vehicle that the police have been trailing now for about 40 minutes. All of this starting near the Van Nuys Airport. This is a stolen vehicle suspect. Yeah, you know, the West Valley uh, Division actually picked this up at the LAPD. And as Gil mentioned at the top of the hour, that we were tracking this vehicle. But again, uh, things have gotten a, a little more dicey as time has gone on. We've seen this driver throw something out of the window. A police cruiser now on the tail of this vehicle. Again, things have become a little more erratic. We see the driver there. It appears to be he's on a cell phone. And that was something he was doing prior to uh, the picture that you're looking at now. So again, LAPD in pursuit of this uh, stolen vehicle suspect, this blue Toyota, primarily in the gray Granada Hills area. We've seen this driver primarily on San Fernando Mission Road. A pit maneuver was uh, just executed not too far from this location over on Balboa. Was not able to disable that car as we again uh, lose our picture once again from News Channel 4. It was a perfect pit maneuver, though, but he had trouble getting the car started, was able to We're get it started. And ball, now we continue. You can see it there. Police make the turn with him, although cautiously. Gil, how many officers are behind him at this point? Kathy, it looks like there's uh, two units right now, but I know there's more in trail, uh, and I apologize for the breakup there, but uh, we're going to continue on here. Uh, now, you were saying earlier that on the turns, uh, doing a pit maneuver on a turn is a good spot to do it because he, the driver does have to slow down in order to make that turn, and that's a u that's usually where we'll see a, a pit maneuver uh, whenever a car is turning. That's a good spot to do that. But again, continuing here on, uh, I'm tr trying to get the street for you here, westbound, coming up to an intersection here let's see what he does he's got a green light that's good right through that intersection that was Zelza this is Devonshire he's on westbound Devonshire from Zelza and continuing on it looks like the driver's back on his cell phone or at least he was there a minute ago yeah, not behaving as erratically as he was we were really seeing him a lot of action inside the car we saw him throw items out it looked like papers well a lot you know, of right as i said on. that yes. it started up again um, that's what we were seeing <laughs> earlier yeah it looks as if he's yeah. back on his cell phone hands on the steering wheel off the steering wheel back on you know throwing up with the hands now he's leaning out out the window yeah. obviously on the cell phone now so again i don't know if this this guy here actually has a plan yeah, there's a, here's a better shot. I doubled in even more to show him. Mean, he's angry. You know, he's angry, and I don't know who he's talking to there, but he's definitely driving angry. Wrong side of the road. Look at that. I'm going to come back out here. Look at those officers right there oh. waiting for him on that turn. Uh, this is always oh, turning into a neighbor. Okay, he's turning to the police station. That's where he's at. Of all places. Now he's got, yeah, of all places, he's got his hands out this right in front of Devonshire fast. Station. Yeah, yeah, it looks like he's got his hands out ready to uh, give up. And Never a safe it. situation, He's though. It's not done until it's done. These officers want to make sure that uh, this is handled all by procedure, so they'll be issuing commands, right, Gil? Yes, definitely. They're telling him to do so right now. He's uh, complying with their demands. He's uh, doing exactly what he's supposed to do, but again, right in front of the police station, which is very convenient for the officers. And as I mentioned before, of all places, again, on his cell phone, we saw some uh, pretty erratic and dramatic hand gestures come from this guy just seconds before he made that uh, that turn there into the police station. So, again, on the cell phone, possibly with somebody who was talking to him into arriving there uh, at that particular location. That would be nice. It's a nice end to that. Nobody injured. You know, you always have to hold your breath when something like this happens. A Sunday when a lot of people are out in this uh, pursuit stayed in a residential area throughout in the Granada Hills area. All right, so Gil, uh, at this point, we see the suspect there on the ground. Uh, the officers are barking commands at him. Well, they will obviously, again, check the car as well. Yeah, and in fact, they're about to do that right now. They're going to move in on uh, both the suspect and the car. There you can see the officers on the right-hand side of your screen. Uh, they're pretty confident there's no one else in the vehicle as those officers stand there. They're taking him into custody. They'll clear the trunk of the vehicle to make sure no one's in there, and uh, that'll be that. And I guess they'll just walk him into the station here unless they want to take him to the West Valley station. Uh, that's who initiated this uh, pursuit was West Valley LAPD. But there's the trunk opening. They're checking it, and uh, this one's over right in front of the police station. All right, Gil Levis, thank you so much. Of course, we'll have more on this pursuit on later editions here on the Channel 4 News. All right, so 524 here right now. We are going